arguably, arguably the greatest manager at the minute. If he comes to United, the club would get him sacked. They would ruin him like they're doing with players. Now, time and time again, these, these directors that sit in the cell stand on mega amounts of money, laughing and joking. It's no joke I sit in the cell stand looking at him. This club is the club that keeps on giving. It's an embarrassment to everybody. We used, we used to be the biggest football club in yeah. the world. We, we are. We are. We're there not, you go. Real Madrid and Barcelona. Honestly, the club is rotten to the core. Me and my wife are sat there. We're getting, we're getting soaked. The, the roof's still leaking. We get, everybody is laughing at the club. And what I would like to say... You can't blame the roof leaking, though, mate. No, no, it just shows you, it just shows you. Every, everybody yeah. slags Gary Neville because he says what's going on, because he interferes in everything what's going on. But the man knows what's going on in the club. It, it's rotten to the core, mate, from the roof to the to the foundation. The club is rotten, so, mate. Alan, I, I, I agree with you on that, but what about the players that are available to play? What about them and the manager, the coaches? It's time and time again, mate. It, it's down to the directors. It, we, we keep on getting these managers, we keep on getting these players and we keep on slagging them. Yet all of a sudden, everybody in the South stand with all the posh seats, they're all safe, all these directors. It's been going on for 13 years since Fergie left. It's been going on far too long. We suppose, and these people are never going to sell this club. Would you sell a money printing machine? Yeah, I wouldn't. No, way. no chance would I. I, I I'm, I'm, and you can't offend these people with with singing, singing songs. You cannot offend so, them. Alan, I said the same to my friend who's a Man United fan. I said, do you think that if I own a company or a club and it's worth six, seven billion, whatever it is, and I care about people protesting in Manchester or at the ground no, singing, I mean, I'm in no. my mansion in Miami saying, no problem, this investment's going to go up and up. I'm not selling because of a bit of pressure from England. A few, a few years ago, I met the owners of Manchester City in the Larry Hotel. Mm -hmm. Some of the nicest men okay. I've met in a long, long time. The, Man the Manchester United fans, they told me the story of when they, they, they tried to buy United many years ago before they went to City. They told me and my wife the story, the staunch United fans. Wow. Now, now, the money they put into the club, yet yeah, you've got the other side of it, the money that's come out of United. We've spent fortunes, but if I, if I, stand, a, if I stand a pound, on a club, but I'm taking a tenner out, it's going to affect it somewhere. Yeah, look, Al, I, I, I understand what you're saying, I get it, I, I understand the argument, I understand why loads of Man United fans are not happy, but today, you know, the Glazers are not out on that football pitch, mm -hmm. there's 11 men out there, you're playing against 11 men, and it's about yeah. getting having a bit of a passion, a bit of pride in your performance, and, and about wanting to be a top football player who's on a lot of money. And not one of them, not one player no. in that Man United team today can walk off that pitch and say they earned their dough. I understand that, and I've been saying it for a long time. So and that, they're the problem as well. 100%, 100%. But, but there's nobody to teach them in the club. There's nobody to teach them right The manager the teaches team. them, and his, his coaches. We've not got a cloth or a pet. We haven't, we've got, this, this manager, I've, I've never liked him all along. I love Solskjaer as a player. I didn't like him as a manager. Manchester United, we've always done well with somebody, somebody like, like some Scots with a bit of feeling of Klopp. Klopp does it, Pep does it. Now people say you can't shout at players. You can, it's, it's proven. These, these managers, City manager, Liverpool manager, will not take any crap off anybody when it comes to the club. I think Ten Hag's trying to do that though, Al, isn't it? And it's backfiring on him. He's yeah, falling out with players. Honest to God, a sit behind him, there's nothing in him. He's a nice man, but that's all he is. There's no passion in the club. <laughs> we went 1-0 down, 2-0 down. He didn't even get off his feet. Just imagine if that was Fergie when Hughes used to play. When Hughes used to come to United. Oh, I hear Just imagine that. This manager, and I don't mean, I don't like getting people sacked. This manager was never fit for purpose. Yeah, they're good in Europe, Dutch managers. We need, we need somebody with steel in them. We need someone with steel. He's, he's, had, he's had some people sacked this week from going in. Manchester United news reporters and that. But it's true rap to players telling them things. That would have never happened when we had a good manager. Just imagine that happening with Liverpool or, or City. There'd be yeah. no players speaking out like little rats telling people. Mm. 
Mm. And the same players, the same players, he's got to pick them. We, we can't, Manchester United cannot carry on playing that kind of football. We, we play on passion. That's what we've been known for, passion. Everyone is petrified by the passion. Game. Not now. It's the laughing stock of the Premier League. I hear, I hear you, Alan. I'm, I, it's, it's, it's hard hearing it because football, fa football fans, you know, you want to win games, you want to be entertained, and Manchester United are getting short chains. Yeah. Hey, United fans. Al, thanks for your call, mate. Uh, keep your calls coming in.